What's up, family? <laughs> old Ray Ray just sitting here reminiscing about the good old day, the good old play. The days when they get used to breaking two fucking cars and clean out ashtray, living off sodas and paydays, and Snickers and shit, from AM PM to AM PM. <laughs> Man, those was good old days. A nigga walking around with a goddamn screwdriver. That's his money, man. That's his fucking credit card. You know, back in my younger days, my credit card, my key card, was a fucking screwdriver, nigga. <laughs> goddamn. You know, Meth Head said that when I told a story about me and the homie, you know what I'm saying, back in the old days, back in the mid 80 going toward the late 80 you know, we were smashing up and down that highway 99 I-5 to Southern California, back to Northern California. <laughs> Those was fucking beautiful, man. Especially on a late night, right? On a late night. You know what I'm saying? We at J.P. Johnson Park. Smashing and shit in, in the park. Doing fucking donuts. Nigga, fuck, fuck the whole goddamn grass up. Every night, man. Johnson Park was the shit. Now, you know what I'm saying? Those niggas that live in Sacramento. Especially uh, those who's into uh, shooting dice. McClock, you know. They know that in Johnson Park, right, every day around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, niggas started fucking converge to fucking group up at the park to gamble, play cars, eat, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you young or old. Motherfuckers come out there, even niggas from the south side, non-gangbanger, Come out there, even them niggas from Southside Crips will mob out there and we like, you know, have a fucking good ass time, man. And when nights roll around, that's when the fucking, uh, <laughs> the nocturnal, nocturnal creatures remain because that's the best time. <laughs> and I want to answer Meth here something, right? Yeah, back in old days, back in my younger days, ain't no mom fucking do some chop shop shit, man. That's why I say Vietnamese, nigga. Because a bitch ass nigga like you, who in the fuck's gonna trust, you know what I'm saying, doing business with your ass, with your crackhead ass, nigga? You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to say that Vietnamese name because you bitch-ass nigga might snitch on me. That's all I got to say is the Vietnamese homie. He was an older cat. That nigga got connection from Northern Cali all the way to Southern Cali, you know. But unfortunately, all good thing must come to the end, you know. Shit. We didn't have to fucking back them. Fucking... Uh, uh, Toyota Supra was the shit, nigga. Motherfucker was making money off that shit. I mean, it ain't a lot of money to an underage motherfucker, right? But instead of, you know what I'm saying, breaking down the cars and trying to hustle that way, Supra C, Supra Rim, 7-band, 9-band Supra Tail, instead of, you know what I'm saying, breaking that shit down, selling piece by piece, we had connection. I had the connection where, you know what I'm saying, all I got to do is drop off that motherfucking ride and the nigga give us like four, five hundred bucks. We was young at the age, nigga. We didn't give a fuck. It was an easy, it was an easy lick. You know what I'm saying? You break, you know, on a Supra ride back in them old days, all you had to do was just pull the window down Put your fucking hands in it, open it up, go on there and 
kill that motherfucker or DP that motherfucker. And then draw it out with the screwdriver. Take that shit to his motherfucking shop. Drop it off. Nigga hand us for four, five hundred bucks. We out of there. I know we can make more money by selling piece by piece by the rims. Uh, the tails, the super seats. It was a shit, man. You know? Motherfuckers in the in silica. See, back then, the silica, you know, some, there's a model, the, the silica model. I forgot what model, but they, you know, they look similar. So, Super C was fucking, it was selling like hot K. Super C, Prelude seat. You know what I'm saying? You see motherfuckers in a, a Mazda B2200 with some Super C. Motherfuckers in a Toyota pickup truck and there was some Prelude C, Super C. Man, that was a shit, fool. That was a good old day. You know, nigga didn't have time to be carrying that motherfucker shit around so that if you got connected like that, shit, man, I better just fucking go ahead and peel the fucking rod, smash that shit off and drop it off. Collect my money and bounce. That's the way how me and the homie was doing that shit, man. You know? <laughs> well, anyway, that's just a thought about, you know, a little something, something. I just want to, you know, tell all y'all GTA niggas back in the old days. Something kind of, you know, think about. It was, ooh, that was a good old time, man. But one love, though. <laughs>